So I am here with the very talented Sharon Sala. Sharon, how are you tonight? I'm great. I'm having a ball. This is a fabulous place. Isn't it great? We're here at Southern Art in Atlanta. So now, Sharon, <laughs> you write in several different genres, correct? And mo probably most notably romantic suspense? Correct. But you have uh, a new women's fiction series coming out. So I'm wondering, what is it uh, about women's fiction that attracts you? And, and what are you looking forward to the most about getting involved in that genre? Um, the, the big difference for me uh, between romantic suspense and women's fiction is that you can delve more into the family dynamic. And I like the uh, southern women's fiction thing because I'm kind of from that part of the world and I identify. Um, I like that you can have such amazing secondary characters within women's fiction mm -hmm. that don't get to be as special in a book for romantic suspense. And I do kind of like not having to kill somebody off in the book. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of nice not to have to get rid of somebody, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm always killing somebody or, you know, shooting them or something. So Southern women's, uh, I mean, women's fiction is going to be really uh, a change of pace and a good one. Oh, my gosh. Well, I can't wait to read it. And what's the, uh, do you know the title of your first book in the new series? Uh, the Curl Up and Die. It's about uh, how everything revolves around a little local beauty shop in a small southern town. All the gossip, all the all the horrible stuff, it goes through there first, so it's really cool. Oh my gosh, sounds like my kind of book. I can't wait to check it out. Thank you so much for talking with me tonight. You're welcome. Have a good evening. You too. Have fun. Sure will. Bye. Bye.